This is Amy Mott from Clover Patch Sanctuary, and you are watching News from the Clover Patch, recorded live from Franklin, Tennessee. A very cold morning in Franklin, Tennessee. I'm actually sitting here just snuggled up with a blanket, and I've put together a cute little video of the highlights of Midwest Bun Fest, which took place two weekends ago. And I'm sorry to everybody that it's been so late coming, but I am a stickler for doing things right, and I wanted to put together uh, as many of the highlights as I could. Uh, there were a few that I could not put in there, and um, there are a couple that I would not put in there. Um, but um, overall, I think it's a great little video, and I want to say congratulations to Ohio House Rabbit Rescue and um, uh, to this fabulous Bun Fest, which I enjoy attending every year, uh, me and my entire crew. Uh, this was the largest group that Clover Patch ever took to uh, Midwest Bun Fest. We're looking forward to doing it all over again when we go to the Treasure Coast Bun Fest. So, uh, yeah, enjoy this uh, cute little video, and uh, you're going to see my face probably way too much. And um, so <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. And uh, anybody from Ohio, if you would like to uh, use any portion of this video for any grants or any grant applications, you are more than welcome to do it, and I will make you an individual video if you would like it. But otherwise, everybody else, just sit back and relax. Enjoy the highlights of Midwest Bun Fest. Hi, this is Amy Mott from Clover Patch Sanctuary, and you're watching News from the Clover Patch, recorded live from Midwest Bun Fest. And I'm here visiting the first table, hosted by the Dirty Bunny Bar and Grill. T-shirts on sale today at Bun Fest for $20. And here is Greta and Patty. Say hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Tell us about your charity, Greta. Well, um... Thank you. I run Baskets for Bunnies, um, which provides uh, not only toys but supplies and helps to other rescue, but I also run the Flopsy Parker Memorial Sanctuary. Um, we are a sanctuary that specializes in, uh, specializes in special needs rabbits. Yeah, Je De Greta is also an award-winning author now who wrote the very wonderful book, The $7.50 Bunny That Changed the World. So. These books are available on Amazon for, how much are they selling for on Amazon now? $10. $10. So go to Amazon and buy Greta's book and support the Flopsy Parker Memorial Sanctuary. We've got a great group right here that is doing uh, Ellie Mae bunny dresses. It looks like they're making some really nice custom dresses. Tell us about what you do here. Um, I who, spokes, who spokes bunny here? Me. I'm Annie from <laughs> Bunny. Hi Annie, great, beautiful. And these clothing. are all handmade dresses specifically for rabbits. They fit them perfectly. Oh, they're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. So great. I wish you guys good luck today. Yeah, Have fun you. at Bun Fest. Midwest Bun Fest law offers a lot of wonderful uh, auctions, and um, these are silent auctions that are going on over here. And I'll try to videotape them a little bit and stay close by. Trying to videotape them a little bit for everybody to see. If you come down here today, um, this is great. I mean, this is, uh, you'll get a chance to bid on a lot of these wonderful items. They're also doing a ticket uh, auction as well, where, well, it's not an auction, but it's uh, you buy your tickets and they go in the little cups over here on this other side. And some great items to win over here. So, um, Ohio just offers one of the best and most fun bun fest ever. And um, lots of people here. I'll see if I can't get a um, really good view of the crowd because there's a lot of wonderful people here today. Everybody just comes out and comes from all over from the four corners of the United States to come to Midwest Bun Fest. Tell me about what you're doing here today. We are educating the public. We're presenting opportunities for rescues to bond with each other. That's, that's very important. It 
is. I think it really is to share Rescues, information. Yeah, rescue stay divided. Yeah. So this 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 kind this, of breaks that division, doesn't it? And it also gives them an opportunity for um, doing some fundraising okay. and brings people together. Tell the camera your name. Mary Beth Parisi. I'm with the Ohio House Rep. And I already knew that, but you know everybody out there in uh, news from the Clover Patch land might not have known that. So Mary Beth Parisi, she's great. We love her, and we love the Clover. <laughs> Thank you. I'm standing over here by Plaid Rabbit Designs and uh, Pinky LaRue, which graces this wonderful festival. We're going to see if we can't get Pinky to, to make a showing here. Pinky! Hey, baby! Hi, darling! Pinky LaRue is one of the really beloved bunnies here at Midwest that I look forward to yeah, seeing. And here is Christy. Yeah, Say hello. Hi, everybody. Awesome. Tell us what you're selling today. We have treats. We have willow sticks, some new t-shirts that we are selling, uh, some art, and a little bit of Christmas gourd. And the infamous Pinky LaRue gourd. I'm going to see if I can get that for you guys. It's Thank wonderful. You. Now today, this is a raffle win, which I was showing everybody up there. Uh, you buy the tickets. The tickets are one dollar. Uh, another way that Midwest raises some great monies uh, for their bunnies with the Ohio Rabbit Rescue. So I love the Pinky Larue Gourd. I actually own the large version Thanks. of this that I won last year at the auction. So this is the most wonderful bun fest, and we love coming here. Thank you, Christy. Thank you very much. See you later. <laughs> and I'm standing here with Linda Bailey from Too Many Bunnies. Oh, hello, hello. It's yes. lovely to be here. Tell us what you're doing out there in California. Uh, what am I not doing out in California you're in the wild doing west? doing everything we're doing in Tennessee, I aren't you? I am shutting down dumping grounds, cleaning up equestrian centers, uh, battling with the county of Los Angeles to get better vet care. Okay, we uh, need that. And cage space for the animals and uh, working on a rescuer code of ethics. All right. Hey, that's what we want to hear. Rescuer code of ethics. We're hoping that's something that the House Rap Society can pick up on. Margo's already on it. So awesome. Working, so, so Margo, if you're watching this. Thanks, Margo. Thanks, Margo. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> okay, here's Let's Jessica. Here. She is holding. Who are you holding? He doesn't have a name yet. He doesn't have a name yet. He came oh. in from California with Linda. We just talked to her a minute ago. Jessica, tell us about your new rescue. Come on. My rescue is Nestle's Rabbit Rescue in Connecticut, and I just started it. I have a few bunnies for adoption, only probably about four or five right now. But that's how we all started. Yeah. So, you know? Yeah. Pretty soon she'll have 50. No, she won't. <laughs> no, she won't. Okay. Although, so. this one's pretty cute. I so think he wants you, to go uh, to Connecticut. He does? Do you want to go to Connecticut? I think he does. Okay. He's adorable. He's so sweet. So you're at Bunfest shopping, promoting, having fun, and petting bunnies, right? All of the above. All of the above. Yes, thank All right, you. let's wish her best of luck in getting her new rescue started. One of the really popular stands here today is Bingaling Bunny Box. Uh, they sell, Bingaling sells some of the best hay I have ever seen. My bunnies go crazy. Monica, what do your bunnies do over Bingaling? They go nuts. Yes. Caratops. They Per pieces. Oh, yeah. So, if you're out at Midwest today, please stop by Bingaling. There they are. And y'all are online as well. Tell me what your online um, email, not email, but your website? Bingalingstore.com. Bingalingstore.com. Bunnies, guinea pigs. I mean, they go crazy over this hay. So, you need to order from them direct or come by Midwest Bun Fest today. Andrea is from our very own Clover Patch Sanctuary, and she just showed you the pig pigs just a minute ago. I don't know if, it, well, I'm sure everybody watching this probably pretty much knows this, but guinea pigs and rabbits make great pets and yes. friends. Yes. I mean, you don't house them together, you don't let them live together, but uh, I do know that they can play together a little bit. Yes. Tell me about um, that. Uh, guinea pigs and rabbits can play together, you just have to kind of watch, especially with if you have a freshly neutered male, you want to make sure a male rabbit doesn't ever try to mount a guinea pig because it will hurt them. Um, but yeah, just in general, they're, they're, they're pretty safe to play with each other. Um, usually I find that guinea pigs are going after the rabbits to um, <laughs> play with the bunnies. So yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of funny and usually the rabbits are kind of run away, but they can kind of hang out together. You just have to make sure they're not eating off the same thing because they can carry similar bacteria in their mouths. Um, that can actually hurt each other. So, all right. Yep. Thanks a lot. 
Okay, I'm here with one of my besties, Monica, and she runs Mr. PCs. <laughs> she loves it when I says PCs. Mr. PCs. <laughs> Rabbit resource. Tell me what you do. Oh, uh, well, let's see. We board, we bond, um, I do foster, uh, and hopefully find homes for some of my fosters. You're located out of PA. Yes, right near Philadelphia. Long drive down here. Yes. Every, yeah, everybody's just driven down here from the four corners, as I said earlier. And so if you're in the PA area, you need Bunnies Bonded, Bunnies Boarded. Monica's who you call. You can check her out on Facebook. Mr. PC's Rabbit Resource. Facebook. That's right. Go, go and like their page. Thank you. Amy here again. I'm at Black Pug, Black Pug Pottery. Say hello. I know. Why don't yeah. we say hello too? Because this is live video broadcasting and I'm promoting everybody here, all the vendors at BunFest and letting everybody know about your products. And personally, I know the coffee cup I got from you guys last year. It is my favorite. So tell me about your products here. Well, we're two retired educators that now this is what we do in our afterlife. Mm -hmm. And we do this in my basement. It's everything stoneware hand done we're having a ball oh this is love great the bunny love the funny people love well we, we love you guys too i mean so i just want y'all to know that they have i love the pottery that looks like new orleans it looks like the new orleans tombs thank you they are just extraordinary and then of course my family is going to recognize the coffee cups definitely because yes they are awesome so midwest bun fest you got to come out and see Black Pug Pottery. Uh, just some great, great mugs and decor. And incidentally, I have to show this one because it is too cute. Yeah, I smell carrots. <laughs> that may be going home with me today. One of the fun things for sale today is the Bitty Bunny Bites. These are so, so very cute. Bunny numminess. So, I mean, everything that you could possibly want. And check out these gorgeous, gorgeous necklaces. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, these Just are memorial bunny pendants. You can get these made in different styles. So, if you have a lock or a dwarf or a Dutch. And you can have your bunny's name put right on here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. have them made for you special. So, yeah, I definitely will be ordering one of these with the closest interpretation of a Flemish giant you can get with uh, for Tank and Hefner. The best thing about Midwest Bun Fest is uh, getting to meet, well, one of the best things, getting to meet all the wonderful rescues out there. Um, Randy Koga has come out here all the way from Trinkets Memorial Rabbit Sanctuary in California. Tell me about what you do there at Trinkets. <laughs> we rescue rabbits. Well, of course, that's what you do. Okay, Randy does a great job. We haven't seen very many people who just, like, go crazy. But Randy has devoted his entire home. Tell us about that. Yeah, the whole house is, um, there's no people furniture at all. Um, I have two chairs. Um, and it's all rabbits. <laughs> it's 47. 47. And one of the things that I do know, Randy knows every one of them by name and knows every one of their personalities, every one of their quirks, every one of their food likes and dislikes. From what I understand, Randy is like, yeah, your bunnies. So you know, they're your children. They are. They're absolutely. And you are a fallout sanctuary now, are you not? I mean, so all your rabbits that are there retire there. Is that correct? No. No, no, that's not no, correct. No. Okay. I um, I have about 20 that's available for adoption. Okay, okay. So if you are in uh, Cirrus, California, you would want to go see Randy at Trinkets Memorial Rabbit Sanctuary. It's about 20 rabbits up for adoption. And I know he's got some great sanctuary bunnies there too. So thanks a lot. <laughs> Hi, it's Amy, and I'm here first off with Danny Clark from Helping All Little Things. Hello. <laughs> Tell me about your rescue. Um, we've been around for about three years now. We mostly do guinea pigs, but I foster for stuff for little furries, so I do rabbits sometimes. <laughs> also started doing hamsters, gerbils, chinchillas, mm -hmm. other little things. Okay, do you offer boarding services? Yes. Okay. I do actually have a pet sitter on staff. So. Well, good. That's good. <laughs> Danny's located out of New Jersey. What city? Florence, New Jersey. Okay. Website? Uh, www.haltrescue.com. Perfect. Okay. Are you getting a lot of guinea pig adoptions this year? 
This year's a little slower than last year, but we're getting by. Okay, awesome, awesome. Thanks, Danny. Here is Steph from Little Furries. Hi. Tell me about your rescue. Um, we've been rescuing for about 13 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we started out with rabbits, and now we rescue all small animals and exotics and pocket pets. Also located out of New Jersey. Yes, what South city? Jersey, um, Browns Mills near the Fort Dix area. Perfect. Website is littlefurriesrescue.org. Okay, how many rabbits have you adopted out this year, approximately, um, give or take? Not as many as we usually do. It's, it's been, been a hard very, year for rescue. Very, very, very hard. It's been a very, very hard slow. year for rescue. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to see these girls again, which I urge you to, you're going to go to each of their websites, uh, both of them, fabulous Jersey girls. If you're up in that area, the tri-state area, really, right, y'all? Yeah, tri-state area. Okay, the tri-state area. So, honestly, if you're in that area, go see one of these gals. They'll set you up with a rabbit, a guinea pig, anything pretty much furry, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, thanks a lot. <laughs> I hope you sincerely enjoyed the highlights of 2013 Midwest Bun Fest. We can't wait to attend next year, and we wish everyone that attended Bun Fest and everyone who could not attend Bun Fest but was with us there in spirit, we wish you the best and remind you to always keep on the bunny side of life.